Have you ever wondered how a country with just 600,000 people has become one of the wealthiest countries in the world? Today, we're going to uncover the secrets behind Luxembourg's financial success, from its strategic location to its highly skilled workforce and its financial sector, and other reasons that makes this country such an economic powerhouse. So, without further introduction, let's go to it. Hello everyone, this is Arnaud Fabrega. Welcome to this channel where we talk all about business, finance, investments, and banking. This is my second video, and we're gonna get deep dive into what makes Luxembourg such a financial success. To put you a little bit into context, I'm from Barcelona, Spain, but I moved to Luxembourg three months ago because I found a job in the consulting industry. And one of the first ideas that came to my mind when I was thinking about different videos I could do in this channel was to talk about what makes Luxembourg such an economic success. To give you a little bit of background, Luxembourg is a super small country in the Western Europe between France, Germany and Belgium. Its success is driven by many reasons, including its location, its infrastructure and its policies. So without further ado, let's go into reason number one, financial services. Luxembourg is a global financial center and a hub for investment funds, banking, insurance industry. Its favorable tax policies have attracted big multinational companies to establish their European headquarters in this country. Okay, but which are these tax policies? Explain it to me. That's what I'm interested in. We will cover it in just a few minutes, because first I want to introduce you to its financial industry. Okay, so which kind of companies are comprised in Luxembourg's financial sector? Well, we can include farm banks, funds, insurance and services. Services mainly related to finance that would be audit, consulting or legal. So in the last 15 years, the Luxembourg's financial service industry has grown a lot, okay? It has grown approximately at around 2.5% each year in terms of employees working in, in this industry. In 2011, the country had almost 50,000 employees working in this industry. And in 2023, we are almost already 65,000 employees. I say we because I'm actually working in this industry or I would be included in this group of people working for this sector. Another data that will make you realize how important this industry is for the country is that 15% of people living in Luxembourg works around this industry. And now let's go to the hot topic. Why or which are these tax policies that are so attractive for big companies to come here in Luxembourg? Many of you may think that corporate tax rates are super small here in Luxembourg, and actually it's not true. If you compare the average corporate tax rates between the EU, it is just a little bit below their average. And another data that blows my mind is that Luxembourg saw in foreign direct investment the same amount as the US in 2021. Around $4 trillion of inflows and outflows circulate in Luxembourg every year, which is crazy and at the same level of the US. Imagine how much money circulates in this country that if we consider 630,000 people, that is the actual uh, population of this country, it would come in terms of foreign direct investment at around more than $6 million per person. It's crazy. And now you may think, wow, all these people is full of money. They are super rich. But no, they, this is not true, okay? Because not all these $4 trillion stays in Luxembourg, okay? The International Monetary Fund describes this kind of outflows and inflows in Luxembourg as called phantom investments. What this means is that big companies from all over the world create subsidiaries, companies or corporations here in Luxembourg in order to bring the profits that they have done in other countries, for example, in Brazil, in the US or other parts of the world, and they bring this money here, okay? They declare the taxes in Luxembourg of the profits that they have done in other countries. They pay less taxes and then this money goes back to the original to the original country. This is explained in simple terms, okay? And technically, it's a little bit more complex and there are many other things that comes into play. Okay, now, but a few minutes ago, you told me that the corporate tax rate in Luxembourg is not crazy low. So then how is it possible that all these companies are paying so less taxes here in Luxembourg than in other countries? Well, even though corporate tax rates are not crazy small here in Luxembourg compared to other countries, there are other kind of taxes that we could say that, yeah, are quite small. For example, with Holland taxes. But the key of the equation is that in country, there are many exceptions. In terms of corporate tax rates, companies can apply to multiple exceptions that allows them to end up paying even less than 1% corporate tax rate. And then another important thing that I have to mention 
when talking about taxes in Luxembourg is what it's called the Lux Leaks. Okay, Luxembourg for many years was considered a tax haven. Now it is not anymore, or technically, officially, it is not a tax haven. And Lux Leaks, what was, is that in 2016, a group of journalists discovered that many of these big corporations that established their headquarters in Luxembourg got into agreements with government, with the government in Luxembourg, to pay less taxes. Taxes that were almost reaching 0%. Obviously, this was a huge scandal and big companies like Amazon or FedEx were involucrated into this uh, leak. But yes, it was a serious scandal. And since then, government and other countries have been taking some measures. For instance, in the US, they have been taking measures around this profit shifting that many companies do in order to pay less taxes. And obviously, Luxembourg will see that the amount of money that circulates as part of these inflows and outflows within the country will get smaller and smaller. So reason two why Luxembourg is such an economic powerhouse is international trade. Its strategic location is super good in order to uh, facilitate international trade. There are multiple highways and train lines that connect the country with Belgium, France, Germany, Netherlands. So it's super easy to move around it. And obviously this facilitates the international trade. And also a super important thing that facilitates this uh, international trade is the cargo airport within Luxembourg. Luxembourg's airport is super small compared to other big airports from important European cities, but the importance of this airport is not because of the touristic flights, but because of the cargo flights. The airport handles 900,000 tons of cargo annually. And if you have ever been in Luxembourg, you will have already realized the amount of cargo planes that takes off and land each day in Luxembourg. And not just small cargo planes, but huge planes. The long runway that the airport has allows big planes to be able to land and take off every day super easily. It's the sixth largest air freight platform in Europe and the 25th in the world. In Europe, it's just behind big airports like Heathrow, Charles de Gaulle and Frankfurt. Reason number three, highly skilled workforce. So you have to know that Luxembourg's unemployment rate is one of the lowest in the world. The country attracts highly educated people that comes here because they found a job. As there are so many companies that offer super competitive salaries, it is an attraction obviously for all these people from other countries that just decide to come here to work. There are just two universities in Luxembourg, but they attract international students from all over the world in order to do exchanges or either to start or to study the whole bachelors in the country. Reason number four, diversification. So Luxembourg is not only a diversified country in terms of economy, but also in terms of population. Even though the financial industry plays a major role within the economy of this country, there are other sectors like, for example, the technological or the logistics ones that are super important. But going back to the diversification of the population, you have to think that almost 50% of people that live in Luxembourg doesn't have the nationality. This is mainly because it's a country that attracts so many talent from all over the world because people want to come here to find a job and to start their professional career. All this diversification plays a huge impact in terms of languages. Luxembourg's official languages are Luxembourgish, French and German. But also most of the people that live here speak perfectly English. So you could just come here in Luxembourg without any other language than English and you could live perfectly fine because everyone understands and or almost everyone understands and knows how to speak in English. So for example, in my office, that there is a lot of people that is native in French, when they talk between they, the, each other, obviously they talk in French, but as soon as there is one person that doesn't speak that language, French language, we switch all to English. So diversification in Luxembourg is a key player that has made this country such an economic success. And let's go to reason number five, political stability. Luxembourg is a country that has been super stable politically. Actually, it was one of the original countries within the EU and is considered a constitutional monarchy with its parliament. Even though it's a monarchy, Luxembourg doesn't have a king. They have a duke. This duke is the head of state. And then there is the prime minister that is in charge of the executive power. Currently, the head of state is Duke Henry and the prime minister is Xavier Bethel. There are three main political parties in Luxembourg. And even though I'm not an expert, I'm not into that topic that much, um, I would say that they get along quite good because between the three of them, they have established coalitions in order to pass 
and approve uh, laws and regulations. So to summarize, these were the five main reasons that makes Luxembourg such an economic powerhouse. Its financial industry, its international trade, its highly skilled workforce, its diversification and its political stability. All these factors play a key role in making this country one of the wealthiest in the world. In my personal opinion, even though I've just been here for almost three months and obviously I cannot assess as well as other people that have been living here for a long time, I would say that Luxembourg is an amazing country in order to start your professional career. Also, the environment within the office is super cool. Uh, the work-life balance is also super respected and this is something I really like about this country and I couldn't recommend it more to anyone that is thinking about moving to another country uh, and it's in the early stage of the professional career, I think Luxembourg is an excellent choice for it. So let me know what you think about it. I will read the comments in order to um, understand other points of view. And if you have any question or doubt, please write a comment and I will reply to everyone. Okay, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!